have already learnt about tenses and we know that tense is about time. So verbs change depending on the time of action or state. So we have to look at a verb to understand its tense. Now you have already learnt about the various simple tenses individually. Today we are going to summarize them together and do lots of exercises. So let's get started. Now we know that simple tenses are of three kinds. The past or the simple past tense, the simple present tense and the simple future tense. Now we will look at an example to remember all these tenses. So if I say I purchased vegetables from the farm yesterday. So purchased is our verb which is giving us the idea that this action happened earlier also. Yesterday is there. So we are sure that this action happened earlier. So the verb purchase comes from which base verb? Purchase. And how have we formed this verb in the simple past tense? We have used base verb plus D. We know that when base verbs end with E, how do we form it in the simple past? We add a D. With some verbs, we add ED. With some verbs, we double the last letter before adding ED. And some verbs completely change in the simple past tense. Now, if I have to use purchase in the simple present tense, how will we use it? We can say, I purchase vegetables weekly. I purchase vegetables weekly is a general statement or a fact. So, it is in the simple present tense. What is our verb here? Our verb is purchase, which is also coming from the base verb purchase. So, what is it? It is the base verb or the plural form of the base verb. Why have we used the plural form here? We know that with I, we always use the plural form. Now, if we have to use purchase in the future tense or in the simple future tense, how will we use it? I will say, I will purchase vegetables from the farm tomorrow. So, will purchase is the verb which is showing us that an action will happen later or in the future. Will purchase is also formed from the base verb purchase. How do we form it? We use will and the base verb in the simple future tense. So, what do we have? We have purchased in the simple past tense purchase in the simple present tense and will purchase in the simple future tense. All these verbs are formed from the base verb purchase. Now that you have revised about all the three simple tenses, let us do some exercises. Can you identify the tense of the following sentence? The resident doctors of the hospital work very hard. First, let us identify the verb here. What is the verb? Work and we know that doctors is mentioned here. So, it is plural. So, we have used the plural form of the verb with doctors. Now, what is our base verb here? Work is our base verb. So since we have used the plural form of the base verb work, which is the same as the base verb, so we know this sentence is in simple present tense. 
identify the tense of the following sentence. She cried for her mother at night. Which is the verb here? Cried. Cried is formed from which base verb? We know it is formed from the base verb cry. So how have we formed cried? We have moved the Y and added an IED to form cried. So cried is in the simple past. So this sentence, she cried for her mother at night, is in the simple past tense. Now can you identify the tense of the following sentence? The children will splash in the swimming pool. Let us identify the verb first. Will splash. How have we formed will splash? What is the base verb for us? Our base verb is splash and how have we formed will splash? We have added a will. So we have got will splash. When do we use the form will and the base verb? In the future tense. So this sentence the children will splash in the swimming pool is in the simple future tense. Identify the tense of the following sentence. She is a marketing executive in IBM. Which is our verb here? We have is as our verb here. It is showing us the present state. So, she is a marketing executive in IBM, is in the simple present tense. Identify the tense of the following sentence. I bought a book, wrapped and gifted it to my mother on her birthday. Now this is a long sentence and it has many verbs. So let us identify all the verbs here. I bought a book. So bought. Wrapped. Wrapped is also a verb. And gifted it to my mother. Gifted. On her birthday. So we have three verbs here. Bought, wrapped and gifted. Now bought is formed from the base verb by wrapped is formed from the base verb wrap and gifted is formed from the base verb gift so we see that all these bought wrapped gifted are past tense forms of the base verbs. So, this sentence, I bought a book, wrapped and gifted it to my mother on her birthday is in the simple past tense. Now, fill in the blank with the simple future tense of the given verb. What is that sentence? The government dash all illegal buildings by this year end. And what is our verb given? Demolish. So, if we have to form the simple future tense of the verb demolish, what will it be? We should add a will. Then write the base verb. What is the base verb? Demolish. To get the simple future tense form of demolish. So we have the government will demolish all illegal buildings by this year end. Fill in the blank 
with the simple past tense of the given verb. Let us read the sentence. The police dash the bank thief at the train station. What is our verb given? Catch. Now, if we have to form the simple past tense of the verb catch, what will it be? Will we add an ed and say catched? No, we will write caught. So catch is a verb which changes completely in the simple past tense. And we have the police caught the bank thief at the train station. Change to simple past tense. I will wash my car in the morning. Let us first identify the verb here. What is the verb? Will wash. Wash is the base verb. So will and wash or will and the base verb makes the sentence in which tense? In the simple future tense. So what is our base verb here? Wash. So if we have to change the sentence to the simple past tense, we have to use the past tense form of wash. So what will it be? I washed my car in the morning. We have added ed to make washed, which is in the simple past tense. Now, let us read the sentence. I was sad. So, what is our verb here? Was. And what do we have to do? We have to change it to simple present tense. What will be the simple present tense form of was? It will be am. So I was sad is in the simple past. And I am sad is in the simple present tense. So let us summarize about the simple tenses. So we have three kinds of simple tenses. The simple past tense, the simple present tense and the simple future tense. In the simple past tense, the verbs show an action or event or a state in the past or in earlier time. In the simple present tense, the verbs show an action or event that happens regularly, general statements, instructions or universal truths. And in the simple future tense, the verbs show an action or event or a state or instructions that will happen in the future. Now, you must be very confident in using the different types of the simple tenses. We will soon learn about more tenses. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5,000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes 
like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.